Hey everyone, uh, I'm wearing the suit today because I felt like it. Uh, I'm recording another video too, so it'll just work. Let's talk about puff painting. Oh yes, another puff painting Spider-Man video. What's new? Honestly, let me lower my chair a little bit. There we go. So yes, we're talking about the puff painting process that I did for this suit. Now, I didn't actually discover how to do this particular web puff painting effect. That was actually done by uh, KA Cosplay Tech. He's an amazing cosplayer. Uh, also like prop mechanic, I don't know. But he's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing at what he does. So go ahead and give him a follow. And around the time Spider-Man No Way Home came out, he made a Sam Raimi costume, which actually inspired me to do this. On his TikTok, he released how he did the, uh, the webs. And what he did was, is he puff painted the webs black and then he top coated basically the webs in silver sharpie so that it gave that um, shadow effect that the Sam Raimi Spider-Man suit has on its web. So when I saw that, I was like, wow, that's an amazing cheap way to like get this desired effect and it looks great. So that's what I did. However, what was new was the fact that I haven't puff painted a pre-sewn suit in a long time. So I kind of had to pull some old tricks to, uh, you know, get this thing painted. I mean, it's still getting painted. I still have this glove and the boots to do, but yeah, I'm recording this video early and releasing it early, so. That's a whole thing. So for something like the mask, I went in and just put my face shell on top of a uh, mannequin head and just puff painted all over that. And if there's something that I needed that was just folding too much or um, just wasn't getting flat enough for me to puff paint correctly, I would just go in and insert a piece of cardboard and pin it down so I can actually puff paint it and have it be uh, nice looking. And I did have to break a lot of these sections up into pieces just because, because it's kind of hard to puff paint a pre-sewn suit, but it's not impossible. So for something like the arms, I went ahead and just did the upper arm first and then the glove piece and the uh, fingers and whatnot. And I did that by just using cardboard inserts that I made out of a really, out of a really big piece of cardboard. Uh, I just made those inserts and they worked perfectly and it, if anything it made the suit a little tighter because if you guys remember that I said the um, suit was a little loose on me so the puff paint kind of made it a little, a little tighter which is nice. And then for the torso piece I just used a pillow wrapped in a, a garbage bag. And then for the boot pieces, which I still need to puff paint, I am definitely gonna be using some cardboard inserts. Uh, for the gloves, again, for the fingers, I'm gonna use uh, popsicle sticks to puff paint those. After the puff painting is done, and I add the uh, 
spider emblem. Oh, how'd that get there? So after those things are done, all that's left is to make the shoes. And I just got those things in today. So that should be uh, coming up soon. And then the suit is done. The suit is really basically only done sort of maybe really, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm excited to see this finished. And I know some of you guys are gonna be really excited to see this finished. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you wanna find out how I glued on this uh, spider onto the chest, tune in next week to see me glue on some T-Jack effect spiders. But till then, you actually might see a second channel video this uh, coming days. I actually have the things I need to film it, so. Yeah, you'll see a second channel, so make sure to subscribe to that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.